what's good people so here we are again this is the second part of the real housewives of beverly hills the reunion part two yeah i said the second part right so this is part two for this week so on um, this week's episode andy he came out with more questions for erica it still was like a snoo fest for me um nothing that i didn't already imagine what's going on with erica and um this chaos that she seems to be in the only thing is that i don't know i kind of i don't know i'm kind of on the fence um about erica i really think that she is a cold person and i think she could warm up better than what she's been doing um however you know just from listening to some of the questions that she answered the answer to some of the questions um as far as why didn't she leave and she felt like she couldn't leave and she was like how can i leave where I, where was i gonna go and that she only had two credit cards to her name and andy said that he knew how much she made on the show she's on a number one show she's making good money so he didn't understand that i mean none of us understand that and so erica's response was that she gave every last one of her paychecks prior to now to Tom Girardi. All of her paychecks went to him who, you know, he had an account set up at the law firm. So I'm guessing that maybe Tom allegedly was thinking that, hey, she's paying back some of this money she's already been spending on these credit cards that she have maybe. But that's so abusive. Um, just imagine if your husband is having you to give every paycheck but as I mentioned before, she was using those credit cards and, you know, that's why they have the massive debt they have. Well, the massive charges they had on the credit cards and there's reports of, you know, $14 million on the AMX bill. Um, I guess they were paying that, but they were allegedly taking the client's money from their settlements instead of giving the clients allegedly their settlement money, they was taking that money, living off of it. So, I would guess allegedly that they were using the money from the client settlements to pay their extravagant credit card bills. So, I mean, when I say I'm on the fence, I'm just thinking that she got with him at such a young age. She was only 27 and he was, um, he's like, what, 30, 40 years older than her. So he pretty much was like her granddaddy. So she got with her granddaddy, this older person. And I would just assume that an older man would try to have that type of control over you. And with her being young and just thinking, hey, this man is here. He's adoring me. He's loving me. He's letting me do what I want to do. I'm just going to go with the flow. But the flow really just put her into down the wrong river. It really sent her down the wrong river because this is just horrible that's happened allegedly to the victims you know um i know personally myself if i was to have any type of incident and it's um relating to a lawsuit and i hire an attorney i'm hiring that attorney trusting them to do the best for me not to try to do the best for themselves because of course they're going to get paid but i don't want you to steal from me at the same rate that's not right that's not fair you know and um I don't know it's just like it just seems that with the way that erica's been answering the questions my opinion is that she's coming across as a young dumb blonde yeah sorry i said it but that's what it came across and i'm quite sure i mean if i was in 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 her um position i pray i never would be in such a position but it's something hurtful if you find that, let's say she really did love him. If she really did love him, regardless of the age, and she just saw this as my man and I'm going to take care of my man, or regardless of if it's just sexual or whatever, if it's just being his eye candy, his trophy wife, I'm there doing my part and I'm expecting him to do his part. But for, you know, things to turn out the way that they did, it's like he... If it's what truly happened, I can see her being a victim also. But the thing is that it's hard to see her that way because she's such a cold person and disrespectful with some of the things that she do and that she say. Um, the other parts that they would dip in 
into, you know, to take a little break from Erica and her pretty mess, pretty hot ass mess was um, they touched on Kyle and Kathy and their relationship. Um, you know, Kathy's been sitting on the sofa since the beginning of the reunion, not the beginning, but she came out to the latter part of part one of the reunion. And my only guess is that she came on out because she's probably going to leave early. Y'all know Kathy had to go take her naps and everything. So um, Kathy came on out there. Auntie came and sat on the sofa early because she ain't got time to be sitting out there for 14 hours. I'd be surprised if she's there the entire time because, you know, she doesn't hold a diamond. She's just um, a friend of the show as of now or well, for this particular season. So they touched on, you know, Kathy being there and um they didn't go in depth just a little surface you know just a little break from erica and asking erica questions so kathy had like a little meltdown about uh re reuniting with kyle and you know because they had like a little break in their sisterhood um she didn't agree with some of the things and there's probably other things that happen within their family dynamic and i don't know you know I just see it as something that every family, they have something. I mean, if it's not you personally, it's someone within your family where they're having some type of discord. And I don't, I just feel that that's something that happens. I feel that it's something that you really have to work hard on as far as keeping your family together, um, keeping God first and trusting and believing in God and just, um, you know, doing your best to build those relationships with your family. Don't try not to hold grudges, you know. So um, one of the things that Kathy didn't agree with was um, she didn't like the way that Kyle and Kim were on the very first season of Real Housewives of, of Beverly Hills. And um, all of us that tune into the show, we know the inf infamous limo ride where, where Kim said, you stole my goddamn house. <laughs> she said that, that Kyle and Mauricio had stole her house and then Kyle she was really pissed off and she was saying how Mauricio pretty much had took care of her took care of Kim as if she was a second wife and also she let it out that Kim was an alcoholic not that we could not already see that Kim had something going on I miss Kim though and I wish she was on the show she's a fun person she's down down to earth there's Kyle over there but yeah so um they touched on that for a little bit and I'm quite sure they're probably gonna come back around to it maybe for a little um and Kathy she broke down crying it's very emotional for her and then especially um when it comes to her speaking of her mom she mentioned that her she just thought about her mom when she fought, saw the first season and I guess you know her mom would not want Kim and Kyle to be acting like that especially in the public eye well you know you never want your kids to act up and then especially to be fighting amongst each other um another thing was uh they touched on kyle over talking people just as well as dorit at times but not as bad so of course it came back up with dorit and andy was asking dorit about how she can be long-winded and everything but the thing is that I really feel that Dorit is long-winded because she just tries her best to speak carefully to make sure she is keeping on with that fake accent that she has. So that's why she's speaking slow like that. And it's really retarded. Girl, please, whatever. Um, And I guess, it's, uh, of course, they brought up Renna, something about Renna and her do Renna's daughter dating Scott Diskett. Who cares? Nobody cares. I mean... Uh, your your daughter just want to get some of that from Scott. Scott, who's older. Scott, who has three kids. Scott, who I would say forever belong to Courtney. I mean, we even care about that, Lisa. I don't know. I don't. I just, uh. and I'm I'm so distracted by that those leggings, pantyhose, whatever she have that is that she's wearing that is the same color as her dress is just so distracting, Lisa Renna. I don't know. I, I'm trying to go easy on Lisa, but she really irks my nerve. So um I would say Erica um Andy he asked some questions, pretty good questions, but it's still like he was escaping over. Like he was going so fast with the questions and it kind of felt like it was rehearsed like maybe he texted or emailed her the questions prior to her coming to the sofa because she was just spearing out the answers to majority of them some questions 
she did not answer, you know, I guess due to whatever legal ramifications, she just want to be careful and make sure she don't, she doesn't say the wrong thing, but it's still a lot of stuff that, I mean, I want to know, okay, let's say Erica, you did not know what your husband was doing. That's possible. However, I don't understand why you would decide to divorce him all of a sudden because of cheating. And you said that it was at least three women that you knew of. I don't know. It just seems like the timing doesn't make sense to me. It seems like you would have, um, if you were worried about the cheating or cared about the cheating, you would have left a long time ago because allegedly he had these women's he's been dealing with other women for for years so i just feel like you left when all the crap was hitting the fan with these um legal lawsuits and stuff that's against tom allegedly and for owing the owing those people and then you seem to be so concerned about him being in a home and all that but to me if you truly love him regardless of if he was cheating you would have stuck it out because it's your husband so i don't i don't know but we'll see what, what's, what's to come about with part three and part four of the reunion. They're, like I said one time before, they're really trying to spread this like butter. So we have two more parts to get through. And um, we'll see. This, this will continue on with Erica. Um, there's some more, a lot of legal stuff going on with this case. Well, cases, I think it's more than one. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, you guys, just let me know what your opinions are if you're not shy and if you would like to be supportive on my channel. And remember to like and subscribe and always come back and kiki with Kina. Um, I'm in the process of trying to really build my channel so it's like wobbly and all that stuff, but I'm trying to get there. I'm a late bloomer with this YouTube stuff, but hey, I'm a girl who's trying it out. At least I try. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.